Today I'm going to cover a few audio effects you can easily apply to improve the audio quality in your videos. I'll be demonstrating using Premiere Pro's audio effects, though you can apply these effects with pretty much any audio editing software you'd like. The first effect is EQ, which is essentially the boosting or reduction of amplitude in a particular frequency range. EQ is a useful tool when you want to emphasize or subdue certain parts of an audio track. For instance, here's a clip from a recent cooking video we made. I like having the soft jazz music in the background, but the piano part is competing a little with the natural audio, which I want to be at the forefront of the video. I could lower the overall track volume, but I like the bassy presence coming from the low end and it's really just the high end of the track that is competing. So I'll go to the effects panel, and under audio effects I'll select filter and EQ, then select 10 band graphic EQ. Then I'll go ahead and pull down some of the high channels to reduce the piano presence. To emphasize the bass a little more, I'll add some gain to the low channels as well. You have to use your ears for this process and continue to adjust until it sounds the way you want it to. The difference may seem subtle, but by carving out a bit more room for the natural audio, we're helping the focus remain on the desired action in the video. The second effect is compression. Compression levels out an audio recording by reducing the volume of a sound that exceeds a set threshold. You may want to apply compression on a track where the audio levels are inconsistent, essentially to reduce the contrast between loud and quiet moments. In this video, I really like the chopping sounds of the jalapeno. But the sound of the knife hitting the board when cutting the cucumber is a bit jarring on the ears. Let's apply compression to reduce the volume of that sound to give us a more consistent soundscape. We'll adjust the threshold until we hear it begin to influence our sound. Somewhere around here seems to work. Then we'll adjust the ratio, which determines how much the software will reduce the sounds that exceed the threshold. The further we slide it to the right, the more it will be reduced. Since the sound we're trying to target is abrupt, we'll keep the attack very fast and also have a quick release. That sounds a lot smoother now, and people won't need to be adjusting their volume so much when watching. The third effect is denoise. Denoise can be an essential tool if you need to remove unwanted noise from your video. However, because it can result in your clips sounding overly processed, our guidelines are only use denoise when it's necessary and only apply as much as you need. Sometimes you discover noise in your video clips that you didn't realize was present when you were shooting such as an air conditioner or a refrigerator. In this clip, you can hear quite a bit of high-end noise, which we'll want to remove. We'll apply the denoise effect to our clip and determine the intensity of the effect. In this instance, we'll go with something around 25%. Let's give this another review now that we've applied the effect. By removing some of the excess noise, we've given more room for any of the desired sounds to be present. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you liked it, please subscribe to our channel and let us know what type of content you'd like us to cover next in the comments below.